And so uh, we have been experimenting for the last couple of weeks with both YouTube TV and Fubo TV. And what I'm showing here on the screen right now is is YouTube TV. And this has been uh, it's been fantastic, John. I have to say uh, YouTube TV, they get it. And it is um, the, the user interface of YouTube TV works really well. The biggest change for us, in fact, is not so much being away from Comcast, but not having TiVo anymore. We have been TiVo people since 1999. May, uh, no, 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 no. Summer of 2000. Summer of 2000. So 21 years since we bought our first TiVo. That has been the biggest change uh, for us. But YouTube TV, they get it, right? So when you launch YouTube TV, you're brought to a home screen. You can choose to either have it mimic the experience of live TV and start playing something right away, or you can turn that off. We turn that off. I have no interest in any of that. Uh, but it, it, what's great is we have the option. And then you can set up, uh, they have what they call their DVR, uh, which is a cloud DVR. Uh, but you tell it what you want it to record for you, and then it records your local version of whatever show that is. So you get your local commercials and all of that stuff, even if it's a you know nationwide show. And so uh, you can, uh, if you're looking at this with us, you can see some of the things that we've watched. There's a lot of things in our library, which is our DVR uh, section. They call it your library. You get three tabs, library, home, and then live. Uh, but in your library, you've got that's your DVR. We've got a lot of Olympic stuff because I told it sure go get the Olympics. One nice thing about the YouTube TV is that your storage is unlimited uh, and they save things for nine months. Um, so. so do you run the YouTube app on your TV? Excellent question. Uh, I, I run the YouTube TV app on my TV. So we have an LG TV and there are separate apps for YouTube and YouTube TV. Oh. Uh, the, the same is true on your iPhone. If you if you're looking at my screen here, you can see that I'm in uh, well, it's, I'm in Microsoft Edge, but it's a Chromium browser um, and it, it's offering to have me download the Chrome app of YouTube TV to my Mac. I'm not going to do that on this particular Mac because I, I don't watch TV on this Mac. This is the Mac in the studio, uh, but you can and you can do it on your phone, your iPad and all of that stuff. And they do have apps available for Apple TV and Roku and all of that. There was some, I think it was for a, a brief spell, there was some service that blocked the YouTube TV app. And so all Google did was they put YouTube TV functionality inside the YouTube app and essentially, you know, uh, caused a little bit of a stalemate and said, hey, I dare you to block the YouTube app from all your customers, which, of course, this company, whoever it was, wouldn't do. And so uh, that, that ended real fast. OK. All yeah. right. Well, so, I, yeah. I, yeah, I have an LG uh, as well so yeah so you probably it, it, you certainly um could install the youtube tv app on your apple tv if you don't have uh, an lg tv you know if, it, if the app isn't available for your lg tv but i think it i think it probably is and so you get the same experience everywhere um you can have i believe up to six people connected to your account and what's nice is each person gets their own dvr library so like my daughter can put the things in that she wants even though yes i realized you're seeing that i watched the bachelorette here the bachelorette is the key to me getting mac geek gab prepped early in the week my family watches the bachelorette and i sit there on the couch with my family half watching the bachelorette i probably know more about it than i think i do uh answering mac geek gab questions on my laptop so uh but you know that's so that's why it's in my account and not my daughter's account, because we do it as a family event. And as the kids get older, the more family events that we have, the better. And uh, 